it's Madeline. Thank you so much for being here to watch this video. I didn't think that a video like this would be happening so soon. I am upgrading my Jeep Wrangler to another Jeep Wrangler, but instead of an Unlimited Sport 2014, I'm going to a Sahara Unlimited 2017. And you guys, it is literally everything that I envisioned in having in an upgraded Jeep. It has tan leather seats. I still wanted a black Jeep, but instead of the like matte gray fenders, I wanted everything to be the shiny black paint matched and it is, but a couple of the biggest things that are going to make it more kid friendly than the Jeep that I have now. No, we aren't trying, but it doesn't mean we aren't inching closer to childbearing years. I need this to focus on me. Like I I'm just filming with my phone camera and I feel like I just look a little crazy. Obviously it's after work, but I look nuts. This Jeep, my Wrangler that I'm sitting in right now, obviously, is just a base model. So it has no electricity running through the doors. I do not have power locks. I do not have power windows. And a huge safety thing too is my Jeep is not weatherproofed enough. My Jeep's weather strips have got to be worn down because just the comparison between driving this and then test driving that 2017 that I'm I'll be purchasing tomorrow trading in i should say i don't know it's still let's purchase it whatever this is so much louder on the highway compared to the 2017 sahara in the winter my defrost cannot keep up with how bad all these windows fog up if you've ever been in a wrangler the blind spots are already pretty bad like that was a huge learning curve for me but to not be able to see fully out of all of your windows as you're driving in the night it is awful i'm like there is no way i'm having a baby in this vehicle also leather seats so coming across this new jeep was a complete accident yet meant to be it was just the craziest scenario so we are actually looking to downgrade my husband's truck fingers crossed that everything goes well with that this week also it's like positive stress but i also have a headache you know on saturday morning i went to the grocery store with him so we went to festival and then we went to a separate grocery store and in that little stretch of time we past this dealership and I noticed this little white truck for him. I was like, oh, look at that. It's an old Toyota. We should go look at it. He's like, yeah, but look at all those Jeeps. And I'm like, yeah, that black Jeep looks really good. Like it has the all glossy fenders that I want. It's black. Even the grill has like white outlining. I'm like, ooh, that looks so sharp. And then as I was looking closer at it, I'm like, it has tan leather seats. I rush out of my Jeep and I go up to this, even though it was so cold and windy that morning, I'm like looking in there, like, does it have power windows? <laughs> and I'm like, oh my gosh, it does. And it even has like the little handles already that you can buy them on Amazon. I just, I never did, but you can just like strap them on and it's way easier to get in. I was like, oh my gosh, is this really happening right now? And decently priced too. So I was just like, dang, you have to be kidding me right now. And my husband was all for it like oh my gosh i just have such a crush on him this man is my absolute cheerleader i was like i feel like i'm gonna take this moment away from you though like we should be all excited about a different vehicle for you right now and he's like you're the utmost deserving let's do this for you because then you're set like you have the vehicle that we need to be parents hopefully within the next couple years when we decide to start that journey i just cannot believe that this is happening right now you guys it makes me sad like i'm so grateful for everything that i get in life you know what i mean and also i don't know why but i always feel like everything has feelings like i'm so sad to be losing this baby like i feel like i'm grieving her but yet i'm so grateful grateful because she got me to this next Jeep with being able to trade her in. I loved her so much. Oh, I'm gonna start crying. Like, it's happening again already? I just can't even believe it, you guys. God is so good. Oh my gosh. I love you, Jesus. It's just crazy. It's crazy that I literally was like, man, my perfect Jeep would be all shiny black, have tan leather interior, have everything powered, electricity running through the doors. And then all of a sudden... We just stumble across it one day. I'm just so excited to take you guys on this journey with me again. It's gonna be amazing. I'm sitting in the sun, so I'm getting really warm in this one, Blotchy. <laughs> My new Jeep has just a few thousand less miles than when I bought this one. It's at 93,000 miles. And honestly, because of the experience that I had with this Jeep, I am not afraid of buying that higher 
and mileage vehicle because then you know it's not a lemon. This vehicle was the best thing for me. It's been so stress-free, no issues. It's just this one is still so great and I want someone to love her as much as I've loved her. Like I have appreciated this vehicle so much. I just feel like that Jeep is so me. Like I thought that this Jeep was so me. That Jeep that jeep is so me and i cannot freaking wait for tomorrow to clock out and run over to my credit union and get this ball rolling oh bye guys oh my gosh it's happening i'm done with work let's go trade this baby in ah! so i'm going to our credit union first and then here we go there she is you guys i did it this is my new baby. Oh my gosh. I have literal like car culture shock right now though. It is so much nicer. I'm like, oh my gosh, am I ready for this? It's just a weird feeling right now. Like I didn't think it'd be happening this soon. I thought that we would be searching for a new Jeep closer to when I want to approach motherhood. When I am pregnant one day, we won't have to be scrambling trying to find a jeep that i actually really want that has power windows power locks yada yada you guys get it by now um i'm gonna check in in a couple days when it's like nice and sunny outside and do a little jeep tour for you guys so for now i'm just gonna get used to this i don't know how on earth the previous owner could live without a phone bluetooth connection i feel like i'm stranded on a desert island with a radio so i am honestly probably going to change that head unit asap Seriously, first world problems, I know. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, she's beautiful! Ah! Okay, I feel so much better because it's so silly, you guys, but if you didn't know already, so there's two obligatory things that come with owning a Jeep Wrangler. One, the Wrangler wave. You have to wave at every Wrangler or even every Jeep Gladiator because it literally is just like a Wrangler truck that passes you. My husband's home. Oh my gosh, he's home, he's home! Ah! And then second is you pass out rubber duckies to each other. I'll get into that later. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. Ah! I'm so in love. I'm so sorry for how chaotic this vlog is, you guys. I, like, look at me. I don't even know what I'm doing. I didn't even know if I was going to vlog this process. So, um, I don't know. I'm just kind of hoping that this hodgepodge is together okay. To pick up where I left off. Oh my goodness, my husband pulled in. He was so so excited that was such great timing i like just traded my jeep and was just sitting there like soaking in the moment vlogging a little bit and then there he was and he was just so excited and then we went to go pick up my mom after that and then we went to go get some tacos and a margarita i'm just gonna pretend like i'm facetiming because there's someone literally pulling in right now i knew what i was signing myself up for too with recording in a mall parking lot but i want to put my new fragrance in the vehicle so i am just i'm so in love you guys so i'm just getting used to her oh my gosh i just i can't even believe it it doesn't even feel like it's real because i wasn't even planning on this happening yet you know it's just it's crazy it just fell into our laps perfectly and that's how you know it's god so what i was saying in my last video is that you wave at everyone that has a G Wrangler or a Gladiator and it's so much fun. I guess so sad if they don't leave back but it's so me. I love 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 having a Wrangler. And then the next thing is we hand out rubber duckies. So if you walk up to your Jeep and there's a rubber duck on it you got ducked by another Wrangler. So this is my most favorite one that I will literally never re-duck. I named him Ronald. Ronnie for short. Look at how tiny he is like compared to normal rubber ducks. happy it's a nice jeep on the bottom so cute so i love my ronnie what i was saying before elijah pulled in the other day was i feel so much better now because i got my little ronnie out and i almost want to like velcro him in place because i just love him so much so i'm just in the process of making it my own now and i'm just I'm so happy. I bought an aux cord yesterday and I am so thankful I did. You guys, the stereo system in this, like what? 
I took the long way home from Walmart. I went around the block listening to my music. I felt like a 16 year old who just got her own vehicle and could listen to her own music in it. I'm so happy. This was like a big thing for me. I need my music. This is just the perfect fix though because I didn't, I didn't even know. You know, I'm like, is the aux cord even gonna work? Like, am I even gonna have my music? And not only that, the phone system actually works, you guys. It did not in my last Jeep. I didn't know why. Elijah didn't know why. Anything we did, like, it just didn't work and I was so sad because here I was like all excited I'm like oh my gosh I can actually talk through bluetooth on the speakers in my car like I was so excited and then I was like oh wait this is this doesn't work does it it actually works even just through my little aux cord I don't even know how because this isn't like Bluetooth compatible. I mean, not from what I have found. I was not expecting the phone connection to work through an aux cord. So that was a very pleasant surprise. I called my husband. I was like, wait, it sounds like it's ringing throughout my Jeep right now. And he answers and through my speakers, he's like, hello? And I'm like, can you hear me right now? And he's like, yeah, what's going on? And I'm like, oh my God huge upgrade you guys i can't even i'm gonna start crying again i get i get so emotional <laughs> okay so aux cord i've got my new tire cover ordered that i love it still has a daisy but it says have a nice daisy life is good oh my gosh i'm so excited and then i ordered a super cute little sticker to put on the back i had a circle with a daisy sticker again like i i love that i love the whole life is good motto and there's symbols and everything it's so, just so cute so i just had the sticker with the daisy and it said god is good on it because i am all about that i am a jesus freak always have been always will be i'm proud to say it i would not have this if it wasn't for god like oh i serve such a great god he's so good to me so i got another god is good sticker but it's on it's a little jeep and it's on the little tire of the jeep so we'll see i hope it looks really cute otherwise i just ordered the same blue daisy one that i had last time and then now i went to bath and body works and I'm gonna put a fragrance in here to make it smell more like me because right now it just smells like the products that they use for detailing. I don't think that they did it like an actual professional detail. I think they just like did it at the shop. So it smells really like leather wipes, that kind of stuff. So I got three of the car scents. Two are the same, but I really love the Radiant Sky one. And then I really liked the Mango Mai Tai too. My mom is gonna be rolling her eyes like, here you go with your mango iced latte da car freshener scents but it smells really good i promise so i'm gonna use this one more in the summer probably i got two of the radiant skies because they just smell like me i feel like it smells really fresh clean and good and then i just got a black one because i didn't want like the diamonds and all that like i wanted to blend in all right clip that up there and then i also had a coupon for a free body care item. So you guys, this scent is so good. Butterfly. I haven't loved a body fragrance from Bath and Body Works in so long. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. I wish that they had a car scent of Butterfly. And now I'm just gonna head home and I'll close up there. Okay, you guys, I wanted to show you the outside of it a little bit more, but it is so freaking windy outside. It is insane. So I don't even know if you're gonna be able to hear me talk or not, but um, I just wanna show you guys around really quick. Here my I love her so much. Oh my gosh. I have never owned such a nice vehicle in my life. It's so windy. Here is the inside. Oh my goodness. I love her so much. I have to get used to there being a handle because I just hit my head on it. <laughs> I'm not used to the stair steppers either. I just kind of like plop in. So I don't even really know if I've said the actual specifications that this is a 2017 Jeep Wrangler Sahara Unlimited. We are literally going to have babies back here one day, you guys. It's been like a lot to soak in. Like I thought my last Jeep was nice. Girl! I have noticed too, actually, so has my husband and my mom, that there is, it's definitely more spacious than my 2014 Wrangler Sport Unlimited. And it feels like it too, just from sitting here. I feel like I have a lot more space. Um, this is a JK version, which is so funny. I never even knew that there was a JK and a JL until I was looking at different head units for specific years in the JK model. And then I was Googling like, how do I even know what I have? <laughs> so she's a JK, but oh girl, she is not just kidding. She is spectacular. And there is Ronnie. I wanted to 
to show you guys the back, but I'm just going to do it this way because it's so windy. I don't even want to get out again. It has seriously been life changing to be able to unlock my vehicle as I'm walking up to it, to lock it as I'm walking away. It's just... To be able to have power windows is insane, you guys. I Like, I'm able to control my side mirrors electronically. With my other one, I had to physically push them. And then with bumps and stuff, they would, like, move themselves. And it was just so frustrating. Like, I love this Jeep so much. I feel like I'm able to see out of it so much better because the front windows aren't tinted. At first, I thought that would be like a, aw, you know? And I actually love it. I can see so much better, especially out of my side mirrors. They're so crisp and clear and clean. And guess freaking what i have remote start you guys remote start oh my goodness i feel like i'm a <laughs> cave woman that got a vehicle for the first time ever but seriously i've never had that in my life like i can finally warm up my vehicle in the winter time when my coworkers go and like remote start their vehicles i can too oh my gosh i am so grateful i genuinely have never had such a nice vehicle in my life i'm so glad that i vlogged this even though it's messy it is so much fun to look back on my memories it's funny because i joked i'm like if i would have known that jeep wrangler vlog would have gotten so many views i would have taking it more seriously and this is like less serious it is so mumble jumble just random little videos put together but thank you guys so much for watching this video if it does as good as the last one like oh oh my gosh like okay please don't forget to hit subscribe before you go and give this video a thumbs up to help my channel grow and to help me out i am so close to a thousand subscribers you guys it would be amazing if this video is finally like that tip of the iceberg and i could hit that big goal ah! Thank you guys so much. I will see you all so soon because this is the third video that I filmed today. So you're actually going to be seeing me wearing this same exact outfit very shortly here because I didn't want to change a third time. Otherwise, I will see you all then. Bye!